Hey everybody, this is the Hot Wheels Ice Cauldron Drift Zone. The weekly challenge is 175,000 points using an S2998. Anything goes. Starting over here, I think it's going to be better. You're going downhill, and there's not a lot of curves on this particular drift zone. So it's a lot of swinging back and forth. So you want to get as much speed as you can. Um, that's why you probably want to be going downhill. And now really an all-wheel drive would probably be a better drift car in this one just because you do need so much speed. Uh, but first, for drifting, you pretty much need to have anti-lock brakes off, traction control off, stability control off, and you don't need to, but I do prefer and recommend shifting to manual. All right, with that out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and do this in this Peugeot, the same one I used in Mexico last week for your drift zone. I kind of like it actually. Uh, I'll be in second gear. This is a rear wheel, even though I said all wheel drive might be a little bit better. Let's go ahead and go in this bad boy. As I mentioned last week, I don't think I'll be doing these hot wheel ones much longer once the new expansion launches. And this expansion is kind of dead. There's a lot of people for like, what, two weeks maybe playing this thing? And then it died. And for me, it was, it was really frustrating. The magnetic road just swung you all over the place. If your car was too low uh, to the ground, off you'd sink into the track often. It was just dumb. But anyway, enough commentary. We are at the 175, well over 175. Easy enough, guys. 190,921 points. Right, thanks, guys. That takes care of this drift zone in Hot Wheels land, and I'll see you all later.